Hi, I'm Alex Crawford. I'm Special Correspondent for Sky News and I'm based in Istanbul. Hi everyone, my name is Kirsty Coventry. I'm a seven-time Olympic medalist in swimming from Zimbabwe. Hi, my name is Kevin Conroy Scott. Uh, I'm the literary agent of Wilbur Smith. My name is Steph Penny and I'm an author. I have been captivated over the last three months reading all of your books. And I wanted to say how, what a pleasure it was to be a judge for the shortlist for this year's Adventure Award. When I choose a book to read, I say, tell me something I don't know. And these six books all told me something I didn't already know. I loved that some of the books really took me on an adventure and it um, entails and I got to know characters and reminded me about so many things that I'd forgotten from my childhood. They took me from Roman Britain to the British Raj in the 1920s to present day Vancouver and they plunged me into the world of French colonial slavery, of wartime physicists and the remnants of the British Empire in Africa. So for me, drumroll, the favourite book um, that I read out of the six was... The novel that I voted for uh, was... I had a runaway favourite. For me, the standout favourite was... A Necessary Evil. No Good Brother by Tyler Keevil. Looking for Evelyn by Maggie Ritchie. It's Jane Harris's Sugar Money. She really made me remember my whole childhood. I really couldn't put it down. It kind of held me captive right from the get-go to the end. The world in which it's set and the characters felt completely real and completely fresh. I think it really, really captured the spirit of some of Wilbur's work around slave trade, but I think as his own work was really beautifully written. So congratulations um, and congratulations to the other authors. And thanks to everyone else who was involved with this year's prize. Uh, it's been a real pleasure. I wish all the best to everyone on the shortlist and may the best writer win.